spines on them because theoretically no native plants have spines yeah. on them. They never evolved. It's, you're right. But you're this right. one is kind of odd. Isn't there like a lobelioid that has like thorns on like really young leaves and then they like fall off or... I don't know. Interesting. I don't know the answer to that one either. But you know, it's, it's interesting with the willy willy as often as I walk around them and with them and when I'm in that area too, I've never gotten scratched. And there are sometimes I'm aware of what I'm doing, I'm totally aware of where I am, and I'll come up and the branch will be right here. But I have never, it's never caught it me. Interesting. In, in no, no. I think it moves back and says, no, she's not paying close enough attention. We need to move back. Because yeah, the, pretty. the What is this? Is this a region? Are they when you see anything really fun? Is that Nopaka? Mm -hmm. So we are at the Kalapapa Nursery. It's all native plants. Um, and they do a lot of like out planting and um, revegetating a lot of the peninsula and getting, yeah, and like working with endangered species. Oh my god, is this a Lobelia? Or no, this is Brigamia. And there are very few of these. Oh my god, there's like what five of these? <laughs> They're very rare. We have actually when you guys go up oh the my trail, god. you see one. When you guys get near the top of the trail, okay. there's a fenced in area and we got one of these plants in there. Oh nice. It's on the last switchback. That is amazing. Are the, are these um are these uh what are they called? Like, are they one of those plants that just, like, flower once and then die, or...? I... no, no. Okay. I think that they, um, yeah, they're... They can flower many times, but I don't... I don't know if it's, um, hermaphroditic or separate sex. Oh, okay. Oh my god, it's so crazy. So endangered. Oh, where do you see the sandalwood? Where are these... Sandalwoods. Oh, cool. Yeah. But which one is this? Is this the beach one or the mountain one? Oh, I didn't know there was a difference. There are apparently several species of sandalwood. This is, oh, this is from Cavella. Oh, then this one is this probably mountain, more the... Um, mountain. Well, they, Domestic they, dry forest. Yeah, right. Yeah. They have one that's oh, cool. like uh, more wet rainforest. But yeah. this... Sorry, I didn't mean to say beach. It was... Right. Well, no, they may have had a There's beach a leaf, one, too. The leaf, leaf looks familiar. Mm -hmm. Just getting twigs, the dead twigs, you find them under they had one that was by almost by Wayne's house on the mountain side. Someone cut it down. I know, idiots. It was grown right next to a kiabi tree. You go over there and I find pieces of the, of the wood that would fall mm -hmm. off on the ground. Smells awesome. And you take it, you just like just shave make it, friction, sand it a little bit. Oh man, friction with it. And just, yeah. Like well, so Sarah, come take a look at this one. There's like five of them in the world. This place is really cool. I'm hoping that in January I'll be able to come down and do a lot of volunteering from here. This is so cool. Actually, Cabbage on a stick. That's exactly, and the folks just love this plant. And so that's why it's taken such a beauty. Uh oh. Oh, this one? Like it, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
In Alpaca, the beach, beach Myers, species. This one guy, yeah, with the Myers um, <laughs> nursery, it took him like 16 months, but we have Kukiyama sprouting, and it's only been like six months. And it's like, I was so excited. There's only wow. like four that sprouted up, but I was like, oh my wow. gosh, this is so cool. Yeah, that is so is this, cool. This is a film you like watch the them grow, and they're really Yeah, I think so, but I, I don't know. Like, it should be, yeah, like, I assume that whatever's here is native, but... Yeah, it looks very similar. program with called a Plant Some Poop. And we took nene scats that were collected in the Haleakala and we grew them in flats of sterile soil. And pukiavi was just like popping up all over the place. Pakalolo, California pepper, <laughs> basil. You know, what was interesting is that these birds, uh, right. ule, you know, we never knew that nene ate ule. And, uh, what is ule? Um, it's a beach beach plant. Yeah. I haven't seen any here. It's yeah, big time out in the east end. Okay. Yeah, and uh, all these plants, you know, were popping out of their poop, and you know, like <laughs> Pacalolo, California pepper tree. So we knew that they were going, they were roosting in the crater, but they were coming down to the beach, to Kenai Peninsula, to yeah. wine and dine. Well. <laughs> and, and poop. Right. Well, we would get, we got their scats up in the oh, crater. Oh, up in the crater yeah. area. Good idea, though. It's See what's really going to grow, right? Well, Pukiave. Yeah. Pukiave is hard to grow. Now. Yeah, so let's feed it to the geese next time. <laughs> oh, yeah, just take it. <laughs> yeah. Take it to your house. After, like, we have some seeds that wow. we just collected. Um, <laughs> this we can take one of the geese, feed them to Pukiave, put them in a the kennel, and wait for them to come out. Yeah, so, so this is a nursery. <laughs> Calipop is a really awesome place. If you get a chance, you should totally come down here. Um, but, all right. Yeah. Here's part of the gardens. This is the coastal section. But, all right.